Hello and welcome back everybody to Angel Warriors. I'm Valerie Magrino. Thanks for being here. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. It's thanks to you, my viewers. I made a hundred subscribers. So way to go. Keep watching because more stuff. I hope to have more guests on in the future. I'm working on it. And um, we'll talk about more homeschooling tips and life in general and angels, of course. And today I, um, I'm a little um, low because my my 12 year old dog, Coco, um, she had a little problem this morning. We had to take it to the vet and she's on IV. She's at the, the pet um, hospital right now because she has kidney issues. So I wish my Coco to get better soon. I love you. And we'll see you in a, we'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna go check in on her. So I just ask you to please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. I hope my baby girl will be okay. She's, she's 12, she's gonna be 13 next month. And that's what I'm behind her. So I'm gonna dedicate this to my my sweet puppy, and I hope she gets well soon. Look at this face. I made her look like a flower. <laughs> and there goes the cat, she's walking by. All right, so we're gonna get back to the angel calendar is number 31, Lecabel, Lecabel. All right. Let me get back to this. Lecabelle is the guardian angel for people born between August 23rd and August 28th. He has a masculine energy and represents the zero and the fifth degree of Virgo. In the angel hierarchy, he is a domination. He is part of the Seraphah of Hezed and his governing Archangel is Zedekiel. His planetary energies are Jupiter and Mercury, and he represents the element of Earth. His name means God who inspires others. He symbolizes glory and enlightenment. He offers you natural talent, which will bring you glory and wealth. He gives you the ability to master agriculture, and to have good harvests, both figuratively and literally. The angel Lecabelle stone is moonstone, and his colors are colorless and purple. Of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, he rules over science. The guardian angel Lecabelle gives you the ability to easily, oh, this one, yes, to easily resolve the different problems in your life. Through his light, he will bring you great powers of judgment and intelligence to allow you to find the most practical solutions to your problems. He will also bring you love and accuracy and precision, precision, excuse me, he will be a valuable source in studies related to business and exact sciences. He will help you in the pursuit of excellence and your quest for order in every aspect of life. Under his protection, you will also be able to control your emotions through your powers of reason. With the help of this guardian angel, you become a creator, a decision maker, a conceptualizer, and a planner for the future. He will channel an abundance of creative and brilliant concepts into your mind. Nice. I'll definitely be working with Lecabelle. Lecabelle will allow you to make revelations concerning the movements of the cosmos through simple observation of those things which are 
minutely small by comparison. You will also come to respect the steps and phases involved in planning for the long term. The guardian angel, Lechabelle, will help you if you are lacking in skills, ideas, or inspiration, or if you have anxiety resulting from the fact that you're not making full use of your talents. He will help you if you have a tendency to manipulate your peers and if your insecurity leads you to become obsessed with success. He will help you with this as well. He will protect you from social climbers and greedy people and tricksters. Good. There's a lot out there too. Luckabelle will also keep you from doing bad ventures and shady business dealings. And he will also help you if you're overly cr critical in the way you live your life or if you're a perfectionist who is never able to become satisfied. Oh, I know a couple people are like that. This guardian angel is your patron and protector and will keep you from distraction, carelessness, waste, and I don't care mentality. He will also, huh, my autumns, he will also keep you from bad use of your capital and your resources, as well as business losses, bankruptcy, unresolvable problems, and more. Furthermore, Angel Lecabel will keep you from exclusivity. He will help you if you are overly attached to results, if you act too rashly, or if you try and force fate. Can't force fate, you gotta go with the flow. This angel you could work with between August 23rd and August 28th. If you are in the pursuit of intelligence and ele excellence, the easiest way to achieve these things is to simply pray to the guardian angel Lechabel. With the light, this angel Ow, it's true. You will acquire a taste for astronomy and mathematics. Don't forget that he is the angel of talent who supports and arts and sciences and helps foster success. He has the power to help you find your fortune through talent alone. In your work, he will help you to have a strong sense of organization and position, position, as well as creativity. However, this is on condition that you call upon him first and ask. Always ask angels. If you wanna show off your talents, ask for help and support of the protective guardian angel Lechabelle. If you ask him, he will also help you to overcome emotional states through your reasoning abilities and to demonstrate a good sense of judgment and strategy, even in the most difficult situations. Well, well, I call on you, Angel, Guardian Angel. Oh, that's my cat's fur. Guardian Angel, Lechabel. Guardian Angel, Lechabel. Guardian Angel, Lechabel. I call upon you to help me and my family emotionally with what's going on in my life with our dog. Please keep me calm. Yes, and you hear my, my autumn parent, she knows. I know, Coco will be home soon. They know, you know, cat and animals, they have their instincts and so do we. And it's very human what we're experiencing. There's life. And there's death. But there's also rebirth, I feel. And it'll be all right. If it's her time, it may be her time. If not, God will give us a few more months with her or years, whatever it may be. It's not on my timing, you know? And I'm okay with that. I've had many pets throughout my life. I had dogs, always dogs and turtles. And uh, Autumn was our first cat. 
right here, this face, yes. And she's a darling. She's a good girl. Yes, and even though you want to bite me. <laughs> but, um, oh, sorry. No nibbles right now. Mommy's got to do something. How about we do a daily crystal? Okay, now don't jump. Be good with them. And I ask, please, guardian angels, watch over me, my family, my friends, my loved ones, my audience. Thank you. Thank you for being there for me. And I hope I'm, whatever I'm saying, I hope it resonates with some people because, listen, I'm learning too. I'm trying to put the pieces together, what's going on in this crazy world. And we're going to get through it. We're definitely going to get through it together. Knowledge is power. And ooh, ooh, it's true. And the more you know, the more you empower yourself. Sunstone, which I have in my pocket that my daughter bought me. Aww. Take pleasure in the things you do, always. Appreciate, yes, appreciate the moment. Live in the moment, enjoy it, and don't rush things. Uh, yeah, I have my sunstone in my pocket. Don't just stop and smell the roses. Make sure, make yourself a bouquet. If you find yourself moving through your day on autopilot, force yourself to stop and take a moment to appreciate the beauty in your life. Always be, have gratitude. I am grateful, I say every day. I am blessed. If you find yourself always focused on what's next, allow yourself to appreciate the moment at hand. You can even put a reminder in your phone if needed. You only get one life, so allow yourself time to enjoy it. Do something that gives you a significant boost of energy and happiness. Something that fills your cup and feeds your soul. Take delight in everything that you do because it's those little pleasures that make life truly worth living. Here's a great affirmation. I have plenty of time today. Savor a small moment that you usually take for granted, such as a hot cup of coffee or exchanging smiles with a stranger. Yeah. The little things. It's true. The little things in life. They make the biggest impressions on our hearts. And I feel like doing them angels because I know they're all around us today especially I needed them today oh let's see something keeps bumping into the window I don't know if it's one of those bees or hornets but I did see a hummingbird today so cute I'll try and put up pictures I may start a Instagram page so I can put more posts and pictures. So I'm going to work on that later on tonight and I'll let you all know next time. Flexibility. There you go. Life is full of changes and surprises. Your guidance is to move with the current for it is resisting the flow which creates problems, right? Why did I say it before? Go with the flow can't fight it. Ask your angels to help you open your mind and heart to new ideas and fresh opinions or options. Sorry. She's going to nibble on me right now. Oh, you want more cheek rubs. Yes, I know. You see her whiskers. When you accept the possibility that there are other ways previously unseen, doorways will be open to you 
and you will move easily through the change. There is a solution to every problem, so look at things with eyes of love and expectation. Then life force will flow freely through you. You will feel healthy and alive and can access the necessary resources and wisdom within yourself to help you through change. The affirmation is, I am free and flexible. I like that one. So I'm going to leave you guys with the star seeds. Mine the other night was intuition. Trust your intuition. Yep. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. Absolutely always 110% always trust your gut. That's just the way it is <laughs> for me too. Ooh, let's see. Sorry. Blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Okay. I think that's a great way to end it. Connect with your blue flame that is love within you. The light, which is the light of pure love within you. Yeah. It's good to do the shadow work. And that means to work on yourself, work on your inner child. And sometimes you need healing. I mean, we all have been through stuff in our lives that maybe you haven't fully dealt with. And they pop up later on when something triggers it or traumatic things happen so i mean i'm no expert but i am a mom and i have lived a pretty interesting life that i feel like since i was young i almost lived i grew up very fast at 12 years old you know i had to be the mother the sister the the cook the cleaner the everything and then what happens, you, you get married and it, it prepared me for life because then I became a mother and my pets you take care of, you take care of your children, your husband, your family. And it was all prep. So I really feel whatever has happened to us, it was the experience to season us for times like this. And... I never called myself a victim. So that's the thing too. You can't look at yourself as a victim. You're a survivor. So keep on fighting on. Stay positive. And just stay clear of the noise that's out there and anything that doesn't serve your highest good. Just get rid of it. And... You know, life, life is interesting. And just, we're here for the experience. We're not here for long. So appreciate everything that has happened in your life. And just focus on the good things. And that's really it for today. I'm, I'm going to go relax now because I, I had a little headache before with the stress of everything going on. But I thank you. Thanks again, everyone, for subscribing. This is great. I'm so excited. And uh, I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.